Let's talk about the basics, shall we? I've been going around and I've been seeing TikTok comments, Facebook comments, Instagram comments, whole lot of people saying they just don't understand the basics of the game and it's making it not fun for them because they keep losing. This video is dedicated to all those that just want to learn the basics of the game and not get too advanced just yet. Really quick, before we do get into the video, this video probably will be a little bit longer, so I'm going to section off the video into the specific things I'm going to be talking about. So if there is something specific that you want to look at, make sure to go check out those sections. Also, I have a Discord where you can send Madden clips to be reacted to and coached for future videos, so make sure to go check that out if you're interested. Without any further ado, let's get into it. If you don't know, Madden has a built-in trainer that is actually designed to to help beginners learn how to play the game. That mode is called Skills Trainer. To get to that, you go to the main menu, go to Training Camp, and then you go to Skills Trainer. My recommendation is to make sure your skill level is on all Madden, which is the hardest difficulty. And then you can pick whatever team you want and you go straight into it. And as you can see, you get a bunch of different things that you can go through. You got basic offense, basic defensive drills, concepts, you have coverages, you have passing concepts, you have pre-play, and you have some of the advanced techniques in the game. So just for example, if you were to go into the basic offense right here, you have five different things that you can choose from, and some have drills and some have tutorials and drills. There's certain goals that you can meet. You can go to bronze, silver, and gold medals. And if you bronze every single medal in these categories, you actually get an ultimate team pack to help out with your Madden ultimate team if you want to play that mode. But to actually start off what we're going to be teaching, let's start off with the coverage drills. I feel like many people don't understand how to pass the ball because they don't understand how to read the coverages properly. And I think you need to have a good understanding of what base coverages look like in order order for you to be able to pass and run the ball effectively. So going into the attacking coverages drill, what we're going to do is we're going to just start from cover one and just go down the list. So it's basically start off with explaining what cover one man is. Cover one is basically a man coverage with a one high safety in a zone. When you're reading coverages, usually you're going to be looking at the safeties first. So if you see one high safety, you're going to instantly think cover one or cover three, which we'll get into later. And if you see two high safety, you're going to think cover two or cover four, which will both get into those later as well. Now, it might be a little bit difficult to figure out if it's going to be man coverage. So the best way you can figure it out is by using motions. But if you don't want to waste your time with motioning, you can also tell just by looking at it, the defensive players will be really lined up right on their man. As you can see right here, we have all these guys lined up directly on their man. Now to beat cover one, and this is universal for pretty much every man coverage that you will face, crossing routes is the best way to beat man coverage. We have a little crossing route concept set up here by the game, and I'll show you. When you hike the ball, you can just really see, man, you get good separation on crossing routes. In routes, quick drag routes, also zig routes are very well to beat cover one. It's also important that when you are playing man coverage, be ready to take what they give you. Now, the other coverage that can also disguise itself as a cover one is this cover three. And by using the safeties, we can see why. It has a one high safety, so it kind of looks like cover one man. We can tell this isn't man coverage basically because the slot corners are lined up a little off center and they're not directly on their man. Also, if we were to use a motion, we would be able to see that the defender is not following his man. We would be able to tell that, that it is not man based off of that. So the best way to beat cover three is by hitting the seams or also known as a verticals play. The seams are basically where the slot receivers would be running straight up the field, kind of like right inside the numbers. And as you can see, we're going to we're going to stare down triangle right here. Number three. And you're going to see this little zone just kind of open up in the cover three right there. Boom. Wide open every time. Once again, we're going to hike the ball. Let's say we go to the other side. Boom. X wide open every time. That seam is open every time in cover three. Now, this isn't the only way to beat this type of coverage. There are plenty of concepts that can beat this type of coverage. Curl flat is another concept that beats cover three. The reason because of this is that the outside corner is running deep and the flat defender is running short, which opens up a little zone to that little curl route right there. And it's going to get open every single time. You can also attack the middle of the field in cover three with a little flat in concept. This is a pretty tough timing concept, so you gotta get good at timing the ball here, but you'll be able to see that the middle of the field will open up and the in route will be open every time you have that type of concept. The next type of coverage is a cover two. Now the difference in cover two and cover three and cover one is the safeties, obviously, like I was talking about earlier. You can see we have two high safeties, so immediately in our head, we should know it's either a cover two or a cover four. The best way to attack a cover two is with a flood concept. Flood concept is one of the best concepts in the game because it really beats most coverages, like 
just straight stock coverages flood will most likely be every single coverage in the game so always remember that but a flood concept is basically a streak a corner and then a flat and you can see against this cover too this corner route is going to open up and get wide open every single time and again looking at this route concept corner route again is very very effective at beating a cover two but you also see if you want to bomb cover two down the middle a streak down the middle gets wide open too because they don't the safeties can't get there in time you can also attack a cover two with a verticals play again but instead of throwing the seams this time you're going to be throwing the outside receivers and you can see there's a little soft spot that opens up past that cloud flat right there now the next coverage that can disguise as a cover two is a cover four and this is a very popular coverage with meta players in ultimate team and just madden in general the difference between a cover two and a cover four is that the outside corners are playing deep and the safeties are playing deep so there's really what you want to do when, a, when there's a cover four is you want to attack short very very short concepts like stick concepts with like a curl and a flat are really good at beating cover four as you can see there's literally nobody in the flat so you can throw that flat route every single time you can also beat it with a high low concept so like a drag and then an in route and you can see the deeper the deeper in will take away the linebackers and the shorter in will get open and vice versa it will might switch off you just kind of have to read the linebackers <laughs> you can also try to bomb cover four by going with an in and a post and what will happen here is that the safeties will be attracted a little bit down towards this in route and it will get the post route open down the middle of the field as you can see it takes a lot of time to develop but you can see that post route does get open down the field now a little bit more of an advanced coverage is a cover six and you might see this here and there it's very advanced because basically it's mixing a cover two in with a cover four so basically one side will be a cover two one side will be a cover four and honestly, it's pretty easy to beat. All you have to do is you just have a cover two beater on the cover two side and a cover four beater on the cover four side. If the cover two side, the corner will be up just a little bit more and the cover four side, the outside corner will be a little bit more far back because he has to get back. Now, like I said, beating man is basically the same for every type of man coverage, but when you're facing a cover zero, also known as a blitz, it gets a little tricky sometimes. The reason for this is because there is no zones on the field, everybody's manned up, and no anybody else that isn't manned up is blitzing at you, which means you gotta get the ball out really quickly. When you're facing a blitz, you have to be ready to just take what they give you. So very, very quick concepts like slant flats, things like this. Hike it and you gotta throw it now before you get sacked. I overthrew it. But you know what? That's fine that I overthrew it because we're going to come back the next play and we're going to throw the same thing. It's going to be open. If it screws you up, it's okay. It's The blitz is made to send pressure and force a bad pass. So if you throw a bad pass, it's okay. Come back and do it the next time. But the bad thing about blitzes for the defense is that if you are able to block a blitz, you can beat them deep. Blitzing is a gamble. So if you can find a way to block the blitz, you will most likely have time to just throw the ball super deep and bomb them for probably a one play touchdown. And the beauty about the skills trainer is that after you complete the tutorial, you can go straight into a drill where it will give you random route combinations that you will have to read and react to based on the type of coverage that you are drilling. For example, for this blitz concept, they're giving me a nice little slant flat concept here. I just got to find the blitz. I got to find the open man and throw it to him. Once again, a little bit of a different concept. We just have to read who gets open, find the open man and throw it. Ike, we got the drag wide open. Boom, first down. So now you understand how to beat concepts, but you're still struggling at passing because you don't really understand the passing mechanics themselves. So let's go back. Let's just take a step back and let's go to settings. There are three different type of passing mechanics in the game of Madden right now. Placement and power, placement and accuracy, and the classic passing mechanic. In my personal opinion, stick to placement and power. Not only does it give you the ability to free form passes, which is an advanced mechanic for being able to place the ball where you want it to be placed. It also allows you to utilize all the different type of passing mechanics as well such as the bullet lob and touch pass. Also, if you want to copy my settings down, these are the settings that I use for placement and power. Honestly, this is probably the best settings that you could find, but I, you know, it's up to you. Don't, you don't have to copy. So once you get that, that down, let's go to the basic offense and let's go to the passing mechanics tutorial. And we're going to see that there's five different mechanics, bullet, lob, touch, high and low pass. Now, the thing about the low pass is that when you have placement and power on, low passing doesn't exist. Low passing is replaced with freeform passing. 
which we will go over because obviously it's a passing mechanic. But the actual mechanics themselves are pretty simple. Bullet pass, you just hold down the button. And this puts the most amount of velocity on the ball as possible. A lob pass, you just tap the button. This takes away velocity, but it puts a lot of air under it and really shoots it up. Try to get over the top of defender's heads. And then the touch pass. A touch pass is like right in the middle. It's like the sweet spot. It's like what I would define as like the pretty pass. It's like just a little bit of velocity, a little bit of air. It's really good for hitting receivers when they're just in like a... It's really good for when they're in like a receivers are in like a one on one setting and you want to throw like the perfect pass. A high pass is what happens when you hold L1 or LB on Xbox when you're throwing any type of pass. For this example, we'll just use a bullet pass. This is pretty self explanatory. It just throws the ball high, allows the receiver to go jump up and get it. And then, like I said before, there is no low pass when you're using placement and power. It changes to what's called skill based passing or also known as freeform passing. Now we're going to have the slowdown setting on so I can show you in real time what this is doing. But basically what it does is when you hold L2 when you're passing, you can see it creates a little reticle that allows you to control where you're going to place the ball. So just so you understand, I'm going to hike this and I'm just going to put this, the thing in a circle so you can see where I'm placing it. And I'll explain it. Hold L2, I'm holding circle and I'm using the left stick to move the reticle around where I want to place the ball exactly. This is a little bit of an advanced technique, but it is something that base you should understand basically because it, this really helps you lead passes away from defenders. And with this mechanic, you can use every type of passing mechanic with it as well. So if I want to throw a free foreign lob pass, I just tap the button hold it while holding L2 and then I use the left stick to push it around where I want it to go. Now you may have also noticed that there's a couple of different mechanics to catching the ball as well. These are very basic and it's pretty simple. It's actually, I'm pretty sure it shows in the controls itself of the game, like how to do this, but it's important to know. So on PlayStation, X is gonna be your possession catch, square is gonna be your rat catch, and triangle is gonna be your aggressive catch. To put it plainly, X, possession catch, is gonna make you catch the ball and get down. Square or the rat catch is gonna make you catch the ball and make sure to keep running after the catch. And then aggressive catch is gonna make you high point the ball to the top, as high as you can possibly go. This is usually useful when you're throwing up lob passes or high passes. Now running is gonna be a little bit of a shorter section. Mainly because the only thing I can say for running that you should basically understand is that most people will try to just sprint instantly when they run. Do not do that. When you are running the ball, what you want to do is you want to make sure you are not sprinting until you hit the hole or you're getting outside. When you hold sprint while you're getting the ball handed off to you or when you, before you get past the line of scrimmage, it allows defenders to get past blocks quicker and blow up the run. Now let's move on to the defense. So learning defense, to understand how to play good defense, it can be quite advanced. So to try to like make it a little bit more basic, I think the best thing that you can do is understand how to attack defenses. Because in that sense, you can kind of work backwards and understand what defenses work against what and what defenses don't work against certain concepts. And this just comes by practicing certain pass concepts practicing certain coverages, and also overall just kind of finding a defense that you really like. Most people like to run Dollar DB Fire and Sam Will Blitz out of 6-1, all the glitchy defenses, but it is also good to have a little bit of knowledge of switching up your defense every now and then and making sure you actually understand how to beat certain concepts. In terms of actual things that you can do on the defensive side of the ball to make your defense better, get good at usering. Basically what usering is means instead of using the D line, what you're doing is you're actually taking a linebacker or a safety or a corner and you are usering your zone or man on the field. Usering is really, really, really important because you can influence a lot of people's throws just by having a good user. And Skills Trainer has a, dr a drill for this in the advanced technique section. It is called an advanced technique, but I'm gonna be honest, it's a basic technique that you should be good at in the game. As you can see, this guy's gonna be running a post route. We're using the Abate right here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna hold L2 to strafe around. This is the slowest motion I've ever seen in my entire life. We're holding L2 to strafe around, and we're going to use the left stick to just move around. And we just got to guard this post. He's going to throw it. Boom. Hit triangle to go for the interception. 
and there we go and actually matter of fact i just thought about something in the way that there's different catching mechanics for the receiver there's different catching mechanics for dbs and defensive players as well triangles to go for the ball and then squares to go for the swat x don't worry about it never use it it's the worst mechanic in the game but as you can see boom we go for the pick right there bang now also remember swatting is important like you can go for the pick as much as you want but sometimes it is smart to swat the ball so just kind of take that into account now like i said understanding like really good defense can be quite advanced so if you guys do want to check out how to have like really elite defense there i do have a video that's linked in the description down below i would take a look at that it just goes over basically all of the very detailed aspects of what defense is and how to play good defense overall. To kind of end off this video, honestly, that is really the most basic concepts that I can teach you. I, it's very offensive heavy. I think that's because defense is very advanced at times. And I think just understanding how to attack certain defenses helps you have a basic understanding of what defense you should and should not be running. My final thing that I would say is that I would highly, highly, highly encourage you to get into the skills trainer and just go through everything. Just literally go through everything. It'll help you out so much to give you the best knowledge that you can of the game. And also, if you guys want a better understanding in the, turn, in the form of a video, I have two videos, one on elite offense and one on elite defense. Like I said, they're linked in the description down below. So make sure to go check those out. That is going to be the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it does help you in getting better at the game of Madden. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, support your boy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.